Hello and welcome to another epic day and this day comes only once in a year the day when two champion teams come in front of each other to get their hands on the title the title of the Tata IPL and today it's going to be a team that has won this title four times versus the team that was the champion the previous year Gujarat Titans versus Chennai Super Kings ladies and gentlemen we'll be bringing live ball by ball action of this epic game the finals of the Tata IPL 2023 but mind you we have got company and this company is absolutely amazing the person who knows a thing or two about winning a person who set his hands on the big trophy called the World Cup and then there is another man who has made everyone fall in love with his movies with his acting and when he comes off screen or rather when he before he got onto the screen he was a man who had the big glove in his hand one thing in common between both of them is the gloves sitting right next to me is Bollywood superstar Vivek Oberoi Vivek welcome to Talk 100.3 and Big 106.2 Thank you so much Neil thank you so much I'm so excited to be here especially cuz uh I'm here with one of my childhood heroes who inspired me uh in in and made me feel so proud of the India jersey and made me feel so proud of being somebody who supported team India so yeah I think uh I wore gloves but his gloves were bigger and so was his impact <laughs> Well yes we've been talking wow, about wow. thank you so much for your kind words uh, Vivek thank you so much uh, and likewise uh, we have been watching all your movies or when you came up uh, meant to I think I can remember only two movies because not many things stick on to this shiny and slippery head <laughs> <laughs> this slip off <laughs> but I can remember some good movies which you have acted in I think Sathya was one Sathya that's right and Sathya that's, that's right. right and company that's right oh uh, wow right. Rani Mukherjee you, you, um, and he was there and those are the two movies which I remember very well thank you Kirby. and thank wonderful you. super absolutely um, you see Bollywood and the cricketers have been uh, hand in glove with one another <laughs> pun intended and <laughs> again the glove reference <laughs> <laughs> that i don't know <laughs> but they have been great um, uh, admirers of uh, this great game of cricket and uh, whenever we have been in bombay in my time i'm talking about we were invited by um, you know uh, uh, feroz khan and the brothers they were very popular from bangalore right uh, but, late feroz but khan but kiri bhai you were as much a part of the cricket fraternity but also as much as a part of bollywood no 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 no, no, no because no, no. because no. i have seen you i went to the no. theater to see your movie with sandeep patel yeah, i remember that's all that's that all that was the first and the last <laughs> well that's right and then you did uh, you did a bunch of uh, karana movies yeah, no not bunch <laughs> one or two uh, as the um, <laughs> coach of the uh, hero who wanted to play international cricket and be an honor the country <laughs> by playing for the country so that those were the two three movies one malayali movie also uh, as as the coach of the hero that's oh, it fantastic. of course with sandeep patel when i was offered mevla let me see how my small head looks big on the screen <laughs> <laughs> that was the only intention and that's it uh, i enjoyed and um, i think it's a great experience to act you see uh, it's very difficult it's easy to play cricket i'm sure I, i'm sure i feel the reverse no 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 this is incredible <laughs> kiri sir aapne kaha ki you know acting is difficult vivek sir aapne kaha ki cr- playing cricket is difficult but one thing that has been a common thread between both these things and that is entertainment india loves their cricketers as much as india loves their actors and and there's nothing wrong in saying that you have both of you have inspired so many people you know who who probably wanted to choose acting as a career vivek or cricket as a career how how does one feel that listen i am in a career which could potentially create more such people doing and picking up the same uh, you know same task same same careers for their life is there a certain amount of responsibility at the back of your head when you're going out to deliver that famous shot that you deliver every single time Well, uh, Neil, firstly, thank you so much. That's such a great question. I've never been asked that before. I, I, I take it. I, I take both the the responsibility, and I take the success comes also with 
an added responsibility so i try to be both a primary mover which is where you're you know inspiring people with your work with your story you're telling them your difficulties you're sharing with people you know i, I had a very difficult uh, uh uh struggle period of my life i share with people so that they don't get disappointed in life and give up kahin unko aisa na lage yaar ye to hone hi nahi wala ab main unko wohi darshata hu ki maine apni zindagi mein is is cheez ko achieve kiya despite all these difficulties and hurdles but again as a secondary mover what i try to do is ki jab bhi mere paas koi aata hai wherever i felt ki yaar meri koi tab madad kar deta mujhe tab koi advice kar deta i would have done things differently i remember that in my head and even today for example somebody met me who wants to be an actor wants to pursue and i spent 30 minutes with them explaining what they should do what they shouldn't or advising them and saying i'm here let me guide you and help you in whatever way i can and support you in whatever way i can and i think that's how we give back that's a, that's a beautiful way you know kiri sir has been talking to us about uh, so many things that he you know tries to do to give back to the society to the to the community uh, to the upcoming cricketers be it at the grassroots level or for that matter even you know some of the international boys that you know they've spoken to and ensured that the 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 feel that one has received the the love that one has received uh, you know while while uh, being in that career has been given back when you say bollywood when you say cricket it is the thing that has taken india to another level at at your starting of the career vivek i'm sure you were also put across with this dilemma that aage chalke kya karna hai you know parents asking you obviously you come from a family where you know suresh ji obviously was i mean is is a renowned actor in the, in the fraternity and you know wo ek thoda sa hota hai ki doctor ka beta doctor banega actor ka beta actor banega was that thought always imbibed in your mind ya yeah, you know boxing was the thing that was there well i was uh, totally into sports and uh, i did a lot of theater did a lot of acting uh, in inter college inter school wagera wagera karta gaya at around uh, the age of about 11 or 12 i remember having a conversation with my dad and said dad mujhe lagta hai mujhe bhi shayad actor banna hai so he said good it's good to have uh, dreams uh, and have desires but he said something to me which i always remember and i try to teach my children that he said but learn to deserve what you desire wow wo mujhe baat samajh mein aa gayi and then i said ki yaar agar ye karna hai to then i have to learn i have to become you know very very focused in this and kiri bhai i started actually without using my father's name at the age of 14 15 assisting farah khan for example great choreographer she used to do big shows at that time now she is a director and a legend in her own right but i started as an assistant मैंने वहाँ पे जाके मतलब छोटी छोटी चीज़ें जैसे चाय लेके आना से लेके झाड़ू लगाना से लेके डांस रिहर्सल हॉल का मैं आई डिड द होल स्पेक्ट्रम ग्राउंड अप बट इट टॉट मी ग्रेट वैल्यूज आई वर्क एज एन असिस्टेंट ऑन सेट्स मल्टीपल टाइम्स आई लर्न ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड देन वेन इट वॉज माई अपॉर्चुनिटी आई गॉट अ स्कॉलरशिप टू न्यू यॉर्क आई वेंट एंड स्टडी यू नो इन फिल्म स्कूल इन एन यू जब वापस आया तो टिपिकल होता था कि भाई आ गया बेटा अब इसको लॉन्च करो तो डैड ने अब्बास मस्तान साहब को साइन किया हुआ था दे रोड स्क्रिप्ट सारी चीज़ें रेडी हो गई आई एड अ क्राइसिस ऑफ कॉन्शियंस आई सेड कि नहीं आई हैव टू बी ऑन माय ओन मेरिट तो ही सेट कैसे करेगा एंड आई लेफ्ट दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी दैट माई फादर वॉज फाइनेंसिंग विदाउट माई फादर्स नेम एंड ओनली हिज ब्लेसिंग आई एक्चुअली वेंट एंड स्ट्रगल्ड फॉर एटीन मंथस एंड देन through an audition some magic happened and i was lucky enough to get company my first film well oh, this is this is a beautiful story yes. you know to to actually not take what is available and try and strive hard very few people would want to do it vivek neil it was a point of principle my my father asked me he said beta maine itni zindagi mein mehnat ki hai to you know give you a platform and i said dad aapka sar uncha hi karunga i promise you that but let me do this on my own merit so i believe that this success is mine you know it's not been given to me but bollywood mein vivek you know ek ek concept hota hai ki hero banna hai to hero banna hai positive roles karne hai you broken in, in company with a character which had negative shades to it you know i, I wouldn't say a complete negative outright negative had had dark shades gray shades to it wasn't that like a big risk itself ki meri first movie aur main you know aise ek negative shade wala actor banna chahta hu ki wo hero jo hai wo nahi banunga typical भाई ये जो ब्लैक वाइट ग्रे ये सारी जो शेड्स है ना ये पर्दे के दुकान में होती हैं कैरेक्टर्स जो होते हैं ना वो कैरेक्टर्स या तो मजेदार होते हैं इंटरेस्टिंग होते हैं या बोरिंग होते हैं इफ यू फाइंड अ कैरेक्टर दैट्स इंटरेस्टिंग हैज अ लॉट ऑफ लेयर्स एंड कैन कनेक्ट विथ यू यू नो एंड आई ट्राई टू फाइंड दैट पॉइंट कि इससे लोग किस चीज़ पर कनेक्ट होंगे इज इट समथिंग दैट दे फील हाँ मैं ऐसा हूँ 
इज इट समथिंग दैट दे फील मैं ऐसा बनना चाहता हूं आई लुक अप एंड एस्पायर टू दिस कैरेक्टर और इज इट समथिंग दैट दे फील दैट आई डोंट वांट टू बी इन द सेम रूम विद दिस गाय आई वांट टू बी स्केयर्ड ऑफ दिस गाय सो यू कैच दैट एंड देन ऑन दैट ह्यूमन लेवल यू वर्क ऑन इट टू बिल्ड एंड क्रिएट दैट इमोशन ऑन स्क्रीन साथिया वाज कंप्लीटली ऑपोजिट you made people fall in love believe in love you know you you wanted everyone who was studying in school college at that point in time have those long flowing locks that like like you still have today vivek i mean you know most of the people here kiri sir main aapki taraf nahi dekh raha hu will be jealous of this <laughs> super amazing style of hair that you have mere bhi itne hi lambe the before i lost <laughs> in fact there is a lovely incident here you see when dhoni it suited him so very right. well by Jee, playing in pakistan right pro, um, president musharraf you see um, acknowledged his hairstyle and appreciated <laughs> in public ke bhai don't cut your hair you look nice appreciated wagara bol diye wo to maine dhoni ko phone kiya dhoni i also had such long hair you better be careful <laughs> <laughs> now, now you scaring both of us kiri sir yahan par vivek sir ko bhi dar lag raha hai mujhe bhi dar lag raha hai hai na but uh, you know you just 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 uh, sliding on uh, with with the wake and the conversation of sathia what was what was that feeling to get so much love so much adulation so much admiration that everyone wanted to be vivek oberoi i i think the first emotion that i felt when i got all that love was gratitude because it is a dream that i had for so many years i had nursed that dream i had worked towards it mai itni mehnat ki thi maine matlab kya kya nahi kiya uh, directors se matlab jab mai struggle ke dino mein galiyan khai joote kisi ne pheke mere pe wo bhi maine matlab bardash kar liya i went through all my little moments of about being about to break yaar ye toot jayega ye ladka ab toot jayega ye give up kar jayega and i said nahi i will make this my fuel i will keep fighting and it became a part of my persona but when i achieved it when i first saw that love that emotion uh that kind of uh, overwhelming uh, adulation uh i think i was filled with gratitude in my heart truly i just looked up to my maker and my divine and said kiya thank you aapne mujhe chuna karodo logo mein se mujhe chuna is moment ke liye is shan ke liye is pyar ke liye thank you thank you thank you and i think we give back you know not just feeling that gratitude is not enough like kiri bhai does or like i try to do as a practice in my life we take that stardom and we try to apply it for good for social impact so we run for example my foundation uh, runs schools in india for girls that we rescue from child prostitution or uh, forced labor bandhwa labor now over the last 14 years uh, we've rescued more than 15000 girls and we give them free food free education free healthcare till they're so strong and so empowered that they're you know running their own lives and then they create a, a multiplier effect because they become an army and they say yaar hum ab 10 10 ladkiyon ke liye karenge to wo 15000 fir 1.5 lakh ban jata you know so those are the little things that you keep doing and keep giving back using your power your wealth your celebrity your network to keep creating positive social impact you know you you mentioned a very interesting point over here vivek Uh, about giving back to the society uh, on on friday we were joined by the 1996 world cup winner roshan mahanama uh, from the sri lankan cricket of side course. right and 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 roshan sir also said the same thing that he runs a trust the roshan mahanama trust where you know they they've they've opened schools preschools in rural parts of uh, sri lanka and this he said that listen i've played cricket i've been a part of the icc's uh, uh, you know uh, uh, icc setup where he was a referee a match referee uh, but having done all of that i still felt that i need to give back to the society and it's such a noble thought it's a very it's a very you know heartwarming thought that listen people who have achieved so much also feel so connected are so grounded and it is incredible that i have two such gentlemen sitting in this room inspiring millions every single day that's wonderful i mean you're giving wings to the dreams of so many people and you're creating you know generations up आगे के आगे की क्रॉप के लिए बीज बो रहे हैं एंड यू नो दैट्स दैट्स व्हाट्स कंट्रीब्यूटिंग सो वेल टू इंडियन क्रिकेट एंड कर्नाटका हैज बीन सच अ फैंटास्टिक कंट्रीब्यूटर ऑफ टैलेंट टू इंडियन क्रिकेट यस इंडीड वी हैड सिक्स कर्नाटका प्लेयर्स ऑन टू ओकेजंस रिप्रेजेंटिंग द इंडियन टीम वन वाज इन 1976 ओके विद मी अलोंग दैट वाज माय डेब्यू सीरीज एंड देन एग्जैक्टली आफ्टर 20 इयर्स वी गॉट अनदर सिक्स फ्रॉम कर्नाटका and the battery of fast bowlers and spinners all from karnataka <laughs> anil kumble rahul dravid gang 
There you go, exactly. Jawagal Srinath, uh, uh, there was Venkatesh Prasad. Yes. And, and two more, right? We've called four. Doda Ganesh. Doda Ganesh. And Sunil Joshi. Oh, how could I forget <laughs> Sunil Joshi? No, this, this is incredible. You know, I mean, cr- cricket obviously has been a sport that has uh, given us so much every single day. And then, like you rightly mentioned, Kiri sir, a while back, that uh, it was set on the platform that you guys created in 1983. Uh, you know, a, a, a movie came out and that also ensured that a lot of youngsters who probably didn't experience what 83 was, what the magnitude of that win meant, now realized after watching that movie that, oh my God, this was bigger than what we expected this, or what, what our dad's been talking about. Yes, uh, Neil, and this is what uh, Vivan, he has seen 83 movies and after seeing that movie, that's uh, Vivek Obroy's son, a very promising cricketer. And he said, yes, I have seen this movie and this is where I'm meeting a guy who I saw on the movie. <laughs> there you go. There you go. See? Kiribai is such a big fan. I'll tell you, it's so funny and I told Kabir this also. I called him and thanked him so much because for me, 83 was a very, very emotional moment. We played cricket in the cricket and everyone liked the cricket. We loved our cricket team. But I felt very bad that Kiribai said, why are our Indian team always hard? I remember being 6-7 years old. And we were used to losing and we thought that we would just get to round this round. बस ये कम से कम ये टीम से तो जीत जाए हम इधर तक पहुंच जाए एंड जो आप लोग जीतते गए जीतते गए मुझे याद है वो कोला के ड्रिंक्स के ऊपर वो जो सिक्के आते थे द कैप्स उसके अंदर ना सब वेस्ट इंडीज टीम के वो जो जिसको वेस्ट इंडीज की टीम की फोटो मिल जाती थी सिक्के के अंदर वो उसी को चेज करते थे भाई तू मेरे साथ एक्सचेंज कर ले मैं तुझे पांच इंडियन टीम के दे दूंगा मुझे एक दे दे वेस्ट इंडीज की उसका रिवर्स हो गया किरी भाई पीपल स्टार्टेड चेसिंग फॉर इंडिया यू गाइज बिकेम हीरोज हम तो मतलब स्कूल नहीं गया कोई अगले दिन इतनी छुट्टी मनाई हमने तो ये चीजें बच्चों को यानी कि मेरे जनरेशन को विवान को समझ नहीं थी आई मीन मच एवर आई टोल्ड हिम ही नेवर एक्सपीरियंस इट बट कबीर मेड सच अ गुड फिल्म दैट व्हेन ही वॉच दैट फिल्म पंद्रह बार तो देख चुका है एंड यू नो ही नोज एवरी सीन ही नोज एवरी थिंग अबाउट किरी बाई ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ दैट सो वैन आई टोल्ड हम कम टू मीट हम इंसिस्टेड ही सर हाउ हाउ कैन यू नॉट टेक मी I am a bigger fan of him than you. Chalo. I said, chalo, theek hai. And that's amazing because now Kiri Bhai's legacy is going on to yet younger, further generations, and he continues to inspire. You know, I was telling Vivan that people, unfortunately, because of the lack of media awareness at that time, uh, didn't celebrate Kiri Bhai the way he what he achieved. I mean, the kind of legend in terms of just statistics or the fact that. Uh, I'm, I don't remember the name, but I remember he won like this silver glove and silver ball wala award, which was I think, and he was called by somebody as one of the greatest wicket keepers in the world, or the greatest wicket be- keeper in the world. Or apni hi press, apni hi media ne unko utna celebrate nahi kiya. That's right. So you go. these things, yes. you know, we need to revive these legacies and be proud of our heroes. Thank you so much, uh, Vivek, uh, in bringing about this. This was Godfrey Evans, the all-time great wicket keeper. That ever. is right. Yes. So. In in England uh, when we won the world cup he came into our dressing room along with the icc chairman and the secretary and gave me that silver glove with a silver ball that is right which says the best wicket keeper in the world oh my god oh my god that what was a, a huge time. honor to me uh, away from uh, that was my very personal best moment of my entire journey to cricket of course uh, winning for the world cup for the country for the desh ke liye prime and then this was uh, and, and no wicket keeper in the world has been given this award who i was thinking they were the best in the world come on absolutely and we had a wonderful meeting uh, during that the icc gives a, a high tea party to all the teams who are the participants of the world cup ji to wahan pe in that meeting uh, in that uh, tea high tea function we had there were five wicket keepers who i had considered the best in the world alan not rodney marsh wasim bari and um, ian smith jeffrey dujon also was there course, bob yes. taylor yes yeah. so i can i we were having a great pleasantry all we wicket keepers right so on those basis i considered i told them ke bhai i consider not you rodney marsh wasim bari and bob taylor the best in the world with due respects to ian smith and jeffrey <laughs> dujon right he taught me i learned not taught me and he it was a big education for me uh, vivek when he told me do you know how to judge a wicket keeper's ability i learned not is telling me right yes please go ahead 
He said ke bhai, a wicket keeper's ability is judged only when a wicket keeper stands up to spin us. Anybody can keep to the fastest bowlers in the world. And you, Kiri, had the best in the world, Bishan Bedi, El Rapali Prasanna, yes, the quartet, B.S. The Chandra quartet. Shekar, correct, correct, correct. and these are the best in the world, Kiri. And we, he came out like this and said, we, he did that. <laughs> what an honor it was coming from who I had considered the best Vivek so wonderful. and pointing a finger, a finger at me ke saying that ke bhai, you are the best. So wonderful. Wow. What an God honor bless. that was. Undoubtedly, you know, uh, Kiri sir, we, we, we've spoken this many a times that Alan Knott was one of the wicket keepers. When you started your career, you were asked to watch him and, you know, uh, emulate his abilities, uh, you know, as, as far as wicket keeping is concerned. Uh, a, a statement like this coming from Alan Knott and you know uh, saying that listen you are the one I'm sure feels really really good but Vivek similarly in, in your thoughts you know uh, I'm sure that we've seen so many modern day cricketers and, and you know you watch cricket from the 80s all the way down till what we watch today till today who has been one of your favourite cricketers uh, apart from obviously Kiris are sitting right next to us. You know, we, you know, because you know, era by era cricketers jo hai na, wo change hote hain. Jaise actors jo hai, humare favorite change hote hain. Ek time tha jab humko, you know, like, like Vinod Khanna was literally handed down to me. My mom used to say, listen, Vinod Khanna is our favorite actor. <laughs> Why? Because he's such a good looking guy. Period. So, Cricketers bhi jo hai na, era mein hum jo hai, hume pasand aate hain. Ek time ta jab Kapil sir, uh, Sunil sir, Kiri sir, yeh saare jo thai, humare favorites hua karte thai. Phir Sachin and, and the gang came in and then now the younger, you know, the, the younger ones like Virat and Mahi bhai. Who, how's your graph been with cricketers? I, I think it started out exactly like you said, Neil. Yaar, pehle toh aap borrow karte ho. So my dad's favorite was Kapil Paji. Haan, ji. So dad loved Kapil and I think they became friends very early and Kapil Paji and him used to uh, sometimes play golf together and stuff like that. But anyway, even when I was a kid, uh, dad always loved him. And uh, so that I kind of borrowed from there. And then uh, there was uh, my mom who loved uh, Sunny Gavaskar and, and the spin quartet. Uh, so that's how I got introduced to the spin quartet and Sunny Gavaskar. Of course, she used to tell me great stories because she, when she was Vivan's age, used to go with her father to uh, to Chepok uh, in Chennai because uh, she was a Chennai girl. And she used to go and watch uh, all the greats bat. You know, she was a big fan of Tiger Patodi. She was a big fan of all those greats. So I got that down. I mean, in the past, it was and then continued and then I think because we were young, Ravi Shastri was young and we just loved the fact that he was this all-rounder, spinner, batsman, sub coach and he got an Audi, which was on autopilot. So all these things were very fascinating to us when Ravi Shastri World Series 85. Sam- Sandeep Patel because he was able to you know, slam the ball. So you kept, kept developing that. But I think truly my own, when I grew into my teens and when I grew into my 20s, I think my connect was with Sachin Tendulkar. Because I grew with him, right? At the same time, he and I, are He's a little, a few years older than I am. So I grew with him. I grew with his dreams, his aspirations. I watched him, and um, and and then after that, of course, there was Dhoni, who was just this amazing, brilliant talent who just came in and you know, just took India, Team India, and the spirit to another level. Of course, I loved Saurav Ganguly, I loved uh, Rahul Dravid, all of them. But for me, in that era, was Sachin Tendulkar. Then was Dhoni and UV. Uh, these were the two that just blew my mind and of course Yuvi is still a very good friend and I met Dhoni a couple of times and Viru of course was mm-hmm. just maverick, right? he could just True. take a match away. Eventually it was funny because I was shooting in a uh, in, in Rajasthan and uh, shoot delay ho gaya, cancel ho gaya and uh, I got to see the under 19 world cup Okay. and even though I don't think he was the captain, I saw a young Virat Kohli play. Okay. And nobody knew him as Virat Kohli, mm-hmm. in the legend that True. he is today. And I said, this man is very talented, this man is a great guy. A few days later, I'm flying again for some shoot somewhere and I see this young kid, uh, you know, dressed up and uh, in the bus with me going to the uh, uh, aircraft. And I realized, this is a guy. I said, Virat? And he said, yeah. And I said, dude, uh, I saw you, I saw you play in the under-19, congratulations. He said, yeah, yeah, we just won. And I said, congrats, man, wish you a great career ahead. Right. Little did I know, he's going to become such a big rock star, man. There you go. Incredible stories, right? I mean, you know, you you spoke about romance right now, Vivek. There was a time when cricketers 
and competitive cricketers are playing against each other would not look eye to eye against each other right as in ke ek 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 jo na ek anger rehti thi ek attitude rehta tha right now it's become all very friendly and romantic even if you're you're an australian player i'm an indian player we'll meet and we'll chill together we'll go for a toss laugh giggle give high fives match khatam ho gaya hum haar gaye tum jeet gaye fir uske baad mein bhi ekdam na dosti yaari mein baatein ho rahi hain ye kahin par ye jo anxiousness hai hamari ki are bhai josh kahan hai wo kahin khatam to nahi ho gaya nahi yaar i mean of course kiri bhai will have lot more to say than me on this but i i, I think a little differently mujhe lagta hai ki purane zamane mein do cheeze hoti thi ek to sportsmanship to tabhi bhi kaim thi barqarar thi ek respect for each other jaise kiri bhai bata rahe the the all these legendary wicket keepers pointed at him and said ki you know you they didn't need to do that and uh, yet they express that out of a sense of respect for his talent so i think what वो रिस्पेक्ट तो हमेशा से कायम रही है एंड कंपेरेटिवनेस uh, जो है वो आई फील उसका अलग रीजन है क्या हुआ कि उस जमाने में द नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स अ टीम मेट वॉज सो इनफ्रीक्वेंट आप भाई एक साल में कितनी बार कितने टेस्ट सीरीज खेल रहे हो और कित, मतलब दो तीन साल बाद आप वापस ऑस्ट्रेलिया जा रहे हो तब तक कोई टीम में बचा कोई नहीं बचा कोई चेंज हो गया उनकी टीम में चेंज हो गया तो इट्स लाइक दैट एंड नाउ इतना फ्रीक्वेंट हो गया एंड इट्स बिकम द वर्ल्ड इज बिकम अ स्मॉलर विलेज यार सो पीपल देन यू नो दे मीट फॉर लीग मैचेस आईपीएल खेलने आते हैं देन दे गो इंटरनेशनल सीरीज वहां मिलते हैं तो दोस्ती हो ही जाती है एंड आई थिंक आईपीएल हैज चेंज द गेम फॉर इंडियन क्रिकेट आई थिंक इट्स बिन वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट कंट्रीब्यूटिंग फैक्टर्स टू इंडियन क्रिकेट इतना टैलेंट इतने अच्छे रिश्ते एंड अबिलिटी टू ऑब्जर्व एंड लर्न फ्रॉम द बेस्ट टैलेंट इन द वर्ल्ड and you can see it i mean right now if you asked me to be a selector to choose a whole new 11 from the ones that are not in the india 11 right now i would still find it difficult aur ek zamane mein aisa hota tha ki ek said kirmani ko agar bhagwan nagar mein injury ho gayi to kaun uh, you know kisko replace kare bhai kaun substitute hoga inke bajaye jo is caliber ki delivery de at least you know 80% of that caliber i remember a headline into the newspaper deccan herald from karnataka who after engineer wow <laughs> farooq engineer who after farooq engineer to i said ke bhai who after everybody there will be somebody to take over at some time or the other so True. on those basis i think uh, our time was totally different uh, vivek you see it is zameen aasman ka farak hai hamare zamane ki cricket hamare ko koi bola nahi ki bhai aap khelo cricket there was no encouragement there is no um, amenities there is no facilities there is nobody to tell us you have this kind of a talent you can play in this game or whatever it was there was nobody to tell us it's just that our extra cricketing blood or the sporting blood was flowing into all of us my era of cricketers i'm talking about right all those 83 cricketers 83 world cup ke koi bole nahi inko khelne ke liye sunil gavas ko koi nahi unke uncle kya naam hai bol raha hu main unka naam hi represented bombay i think even india uh, i i forget his uh, uncle's name uh, sunil's uncle who was a cricketer yes i forget his name he got a sharja benefit also yes uh, anyway to on those basis uh, there was nobody to tell us anything or guide us ke bhai you have this kind of a talent you can go up the ladder no nobody It's just that uh, school tournaments where I played, or whatever um, performance was there, I showed a little bit of consistency. Probably that's how I came into the limelight. And then, without any inhibitions, that my where I'm going, I don't know anything. No aim, no goal, no ambition, nothing. But when I got selected for the uh, state schools. it us zamane mein sirf state school uske baad zone school uske baad junior cricket and senior cricket was ranji trophy and uske baad dilip trophy and then you play for the country ab yahan pe um, uh, now in this era there are so many 14 se leke 19 tak ke aap you you have the uh, they are searching for the talents right so on those basis uh, when i came into 1967 the first ever indian schools team to tour abroad that was uk wow <laughs> you part Mahan of history say, then also that's right um, i was 16 years of age and then came back with a good performance good consistency then same 68 may i was inducted into the ranji trophy as a school kid 
Wow. So this is where was my but beginning. But always in the wicket keeping uh, yes, right capacity from, yes, from the right, beginning. Right, right. My so, first gloves so were the bricks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 वहाँ पे बेंगलोर में जब हम विवान की उम्र के थे, I was the youngest in the team was formed. गुंजर जगह थी वहाँ पे सफाई गिफाई करके बींग द यंगेस्ट नॉर्मली छोटे पे ज़्यादा फोर्स लगाते हैं बड़े वो जाके वो उठा वो पत्थर वगैरह साफ करो झाड़ू मारो ये मार दिए तो अभी टीम फॉर्म हो गई एक डॉन ब्रैडमेंट की बैट थी उस जमाने में एक दादा लाइक ही अनाउंस हिम सेल्फ एज द कैप्टन एंड देन टीम वॉज फॉर्म्ड कॉर्क बॉल कॉर्क बॉल तो वो पीछे जाके रोको कॉर्क बॉल को मैन ऑफ द कैप्टन को हम डर के भागे पीछे अभी कैसे रोके भाई कॉर्क बॉल को कैसे रोके यात्रा आप देखा मैं ही कुछ नहीं ए ही पर ब्रिक्स वर लाइंग डाउन फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ वेरियस हाउसेस अप देयर सो आई जस्ट पिक्ड अप टू ब्रिक्स एंड स्टार्टेड स्टॉपिंग द कॉर्क बॉल व्हिच इज कमिंग ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड लेफ्ट ब्रिक टूट गई <laughs> फिर जाके दूसरी ब्रिक लेके आओ दिस वाज माय बिगनिंग विवेक एंड ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड अनदर ब्रिक फिर जब हम स्कूल जूनियर सिलेक्शन में जब गए स्कूल में तो वहां पे सबसे पहले सब सारे लड़के भागे पहले आई डोंट हैव दैट रशिंग हैबिट यू नो दैट इज इज इन मी सो ऑन दोस बेसिस आई वाज द लास्ट वन टू गो एंड सी द स्कूल किड बैग टू सी व्हाट आई कैन फाइंड आई सॉ विकेट कीपिंग क्लब्स They look better than the bricks. मौका देख के चौका लगा दिया आपने. That's the beginning of my air gloves. क्या बात है? Have you ever in your entire career or in any of your uh, first class uh, matches, uh, have you ever bowled an over as a bowler? I've got a test wicket by the. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> See, I had no clue. Neil, do you know that? I so the, the, all of this. The, this is like you know a storytelling that has been happening since day one of IPL. We got so many things to hear. Did you know that Kirisar was also a boxer? I didn't know that. Yes. There you go. You were also a yes. boxer. Yes. I didn't want to say that. Boy, now my boxing club. So you also told me a boxing club. Boy, I'm not going to get out. This was in the fourth standard in Jamin's High School. Oh, nice. Boxing was very famous there. In Hyderabad. In no, no, no. This is all in Bangalore. In Bangalore. Yes, I was born in Chennai, childhood in Hyderabad, and everything rest in the Bangalore. <laughs> <laughs> so I was in the fourth standard uh, when the uh, school secretary came up and said, "You want to fight? You want to fight? You want to take the gloves? Yes, I will, because whatever uh, sport I was in, I took part. So I took the boxing gloves and reached the finals." Wow! And I uh, lost the finals, and my hand was raised and said, "The best loser." I said, "Well, I was wondering, okay, what is the best loser?" So when I asked him, "Okay, what is the best loser?" He said, "Okay, boy, you have fought better than the winner, but Aye. you lost a few points when you gave him cross shots. You are ah, supposed to go straight. straight." Yeah. So on those bases, uh, of course, boxing gloves were my first glove. Then came the bricks. <laughs> Then came the real wicket keeping. Oh my God! Wow, that's <laughs> amazing. In एक और interesting चीज है जो विवेक सर के साथ हम share करेंगे आपके बारे में और वो है वानखेड़े से लगकर. Yeah, this uh, I would like to narrate uh, ke, how it all started uh, at Zimbabwe, how I went in, and of course uh, the role which Ranveer has done was changed a little bit. and obviously the hero has to give uh, the maximum um, <laughs> in the in in any film he has to give the uh, so what happened was now i normally don't get batting kyunki they never considered me as an all rounder right so on those bases number 7 6 7 8 with hamai so now aram se my kapil won the toss elected to bat and the team went in All the players went out. My eyes said, "Okay, I won't get batting, yar. My let me have a good shower and a good breakfast." So my dressing room, me so towel pain ke and having a toast. Aade aade ganthe me a player bahar se pukara. Player bahar se a creep pad up pull ke pukara. I said, "Normally they pull legs." ऐसी पैड पिन पिनवा देते हंड्रेड फॉर नो लॉस यार एक आई को मेरे को पैड पिनवाया तो आई इग्नोर्ड दैट Within five minutes, a very serious call. 
बकरी क्या कर रहा है यार पेड़ ऑफ यार बोल के ऐसा आ गया यार कौन है ये समथिंग इज गोइंग रॉन्ग देन मैं टबल पकड़े मुंह में टोस्ट रख लेते हुए मैंने आई सॉ थ्रू द विंडो द स्कोर बोर्ड स्कोर बोर्ड देखा तो सेवेंटीन अरे उसके नीचे क्या है फाइव दिखा जैसे ही बोला मैं फाइव दी टोस्ट फेल एंड द टबल आल्सो फेल थैंक गॉड थैंक गॉड देर वॉज नो बडी अराउंड डर जाते मेरे को अगर देखते दैट इज द सीन Oh, Actual God. scene. What exactly happened? I narrated this to Kabir Khan. I narrated to the entire team and Sahil Khatter who. Enacted. What a good performance he did. Ah, the brilliant. He played you so beautifully. So, but from there, by the time I could have my shower or breakfast, I don't know whether I had a proper shower or a breakfast. I was walking it. My God. One twenty-eight for eight. My God. Or my, वहाँ पे कपिल को जाके बोला कि देखो caps, we are in a do or die situation at the moment. Mm. आप है सो नाउ आई एल प्ले वन डिलीवरी एंड यू हैव टू प्ले फाइव डिलीवरी नॉट प्ले आपको मारना है हम ऐसे ही नहीं मरने का है अगर मरना है तो मार के मरने का है क्या बात है तो अंपायर पीछे दे कौन ठीक यू स्टैंड यू आर डिलेइंग बोल के बोला हैंग ऑन आई एम टॉकिंग टू द कैप्टन मैन यू सो डायलॉग इज नॉट देयर इन द मूवी द डायलॉग इज नॉट देयर इन द मूवी सो ऑन दोस बेसिस आई नरेटेड ऑफ कोर्स आई टॉक टू फॉर टू डेज आई वाज विद दिस टीम ओह माय गॉड ऑल दीस द एक्टर्स वर लिसनिंग टू दिस वी हैड अ ग्रेट टाइम सो ऑन दोस बेसिस आई थिंक इट वाज the the best knock i have ever seen from uh, the bat uh, i have never seen such a great knock from any batsman in the world till date till date till date kyunke in a situation like that ha in circumstances like that ha 17 for 5 pure uh, top star sitting inside aur mere piche ballu baitha hua hai koi bhi out hai to ballu hi jayega aakhri batsman So we had a partnership of 126 runs. Unbelievable! And I have never seen a better knock than that from Kapil. Okay, Kiri Bhai, tell me, you were there, you know, only two of you were there. वो जो moment है फिल्म में भी जो दिखाया गया है कि जब आप दोनों साथ में थे and suddenly लोग ताली बजाने लग गए और आपके इस पे बहुत खट्टर ने भी बहुत अच्छा प्ले किया उसमें वेर यू कम इन इन यू हैदराबादी स्टाइल इन यू आस्क हिम भाई तो इतने छक्को छक्के लगाया चौके लगाया अब सिंगल लिया तो इतनी क्यों तालियां मार रहे हैं लोग यू नो दैट 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 फीलिंग वट एक्चुअली हैपन इन दैट मोमेंट वॉज इट रियली दैट यू गैज वॉज सरप्राइज क्योंकि आप लोग इतने फ्लो में चले गए थे कि आपको पता ही नहीं चला कि इज ब्रोकन वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड Nay, we we didn't feel, but you have to uh, bring some uh, mirchi masala to, to make things more tasty. <laughs> you know it fully well. Usme thoda sa you have to have some uh, additional thing for the audience to enjoy that. So well. you knew ki world record ho gaya while batting itself. No, no, no. I didn't know. We were not. Uh, I've never bothered about. Uh, we were wanting to qualify. into Bus. the knockout stage Bus. and this was a very important match for the indian team to qualify Aye, this was in or out it was absolutely no world cup if we had gone all out uh, without scoring true and so that's it so on those bases 175 and hamare when we cl- play there's no record in our mind there but nothing but so the 175 hua was that was that a moment for you was that an incredible moment in your memory absolutely, for you absolutely absolutely and what a knock and 175 man unbelievable unbelievable awesome innings awesome and i am watching it from the other end the best seat in the house Aye, isn't man. it kya baat hai <laughs> so on those basis uh, i was stay- i knew that i will come back for the home series against australia i knew my strength and i said uh, that um, kind of uh, not to give up instinct is there mm. to be to if fight i my i will fight it out come what may to so, baharal um, i got selected and the match against australia was there in uh, one khade stadium to so, abhi char panch out ho gaye first we were batting top uh, sunny uh, chetan chauhan was there i think as an opener he also they all came back uh, one two wing circer also was out uh, four five batsmen were out and it was after tea Rajesh Dungarpur late ah, he yeah, was the chairman uh, selection committee and the president he came to the room kiri pad up karo or go as a night watchman and you save the innings 
you remain not out there and come back without losing your wicket or um, uh, the other side also i think it was uh, shastri no karsan or karsan I, i think it was karsan right yeah so on those basis um, jao as a night watchman and this is also a do or die match for you oh oh yes aap boliye mai am staging a comeback vivek and a chairman is telling me go as a night watchman if you perform you stay in the team otherwise thank you very much Oh my God! ये इतना प्रेशर अभी मैं नाइट वॉचमैन क्या है मेरे को मालूम नहीं उस जमाने में क्या होता है नाइट वॉचमैन को उसी मैं उसको जानता था जो खंदिल लेके रात में खड़ा रहता और बोलते थे जागते रहो तो बहरहाल विद ऑल माय सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस एंड आई हैव दैट इंस्टिंग दैट आई डोंट पैनिक अंडर क्राइसिस टाइम आई डोंट panic nor uh, you know uh, bas my whatever i am i'll do my best that's it that's like doni no no bhai bilkul mai abhi darne ka nahi fastest bowler in the world jeff thompson is bowling mere paas bat hai yaar kai ko daru mai i mean that is my approach Kya and that should be the approach Kya the grit to fight the grit to excel the uh, grit to perform so on those basis luckily saved the innings came back and then next day with Kirsten Gavri I happened to score a century 102 not out and I staged a comeback wow from there on 102 not out and huh? <laughs> I out ho gaya out ho gaya out ho gaya I told you yes it was a good 100th partnership with Kirsten Gavri it's amazing this is incredible you know this, this this is what is inspiring sports have been inspiring and vivek you yourself have been a sports person started off as a boxer that's right yeah right. i started off as a boxer uh, originally started out as a badminton player oh okay uh, we in, didn't know this in mumbai and then uh, was very inspired by deepika's dad prakash padukone yeah prakash sir was uh, our inspiration then he used to come from bangalore run little seven day coaching camps they started training there learned from there then i had my own coach agasti sir and then from there went on to uh, ranking in my age category in maharashtra uh, very very quickly uh-huh. climbed up the ranks and then uh, was moved to boarding school okay. jahan pe ek hi sport nahi tha badminton badminton there you go so <laughs> <laughs> i quit there then started playing all the other sports mm-hmm. but usme i think boxing suddenly took my fancy took my interest because i had so much energy and i just wanted to channel it the right way and uh, i became good at it and then represented school represented state uh, kept growing in that and then finally came a day where uh, uh, i was boxing for uh, my 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 college my state my university at the same time i was acting and i was getting a lot of the lead roles in the intercollegiate and even representing uh, bombay university at the national level youth festival mm-hmm. so then my director gave me ultimatum he said yaar main tumko lead role deta hu tum kabhi kali aankh leke aa jate ho kabhi suja hot leke aa jate ho ye kya tarika hai ya to ye chuno ya to ye chuno <laughs> commit to one and then that's it because acting was my absolute and ultimate love and in hindsight i'm really really happy because uh, i i don't mind watching a boxing match but is it a great sport uh, i'm not sure right. you know no 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 i will never take that as a sport at all <laughs> honestly <laughs> i will never kya bhai aap uski jaan leke binner ban rahe ho how can that be a sport <laughs> I, and the kickboxing are i don't watch that at all <laughs> yeah, that that is so true you know i mean uh, ek, absolutely ek, ek, that's not a sport man and it, it is so um, popular hong kong singapore is so wahan pe to are bahut bada sport hai ye bilkul i mean uh, ko, koi bhi contact sport ho jahan par injury ke chances badh jate hain aur aap agar injury ke chances to chalo theek hai koi bhi sport mein ho sakte hain but especially in boxing or any kind of physical uh, sport jahan par aap aate ho your your core agenda is to hit the opposition so that you can get a point i i i personally feel kiri sir i am with you shayad isliye hum sabne jo hai ek softer sport chuna aur wo tha shayad cricket kiri sir but vivek you know uh, there is there is a relationship a core relationship between you and cricket also and we'll try and explore that after a quick short break and i i know i'm sure that you know what we are hitting at uh, there was some beautiful beautiful visuals that we kept getting on our ott platforms and got it for a very long time again we we 
bring home the same point of giving back to this beautiful sport, giving back to the society that has given us so much love and adulation. One one such show that was loved by many, that was absolutely loved. And I and I would want to point out it was a lot to do with the sport and the love for Bollywood coming in together and that's Inside Edge. Vivek, I have to, I have to congratulate you on a fabulous role that you played, that character that you played. You lived up to the expectation of the man who knows a thing or two about cricket but beyond that knows a thing or two about the human mind and change and manipulate it at his own whims and fancies. It was a convoluted character and you played it like how? Thank you, thank you Neil. I think Vikram Dhawan was uh, a very challenging character because he was doing everything that a villain does. He was doing everything that somebody you don't like does and yet you end up somehow following him. You end up somehow feeling connected to him and you somehow want him to even win. And at some point in the second and the third season, you just keep wanting to win. So that was a tough graph to uh, to pick. And like I mentioned earlier, we were sitting and thinking how will this scene be the reception of this audience? How will it impact the audience? And as an actor, you sit and you stitch together with your director and your writers. If I do this way, you contribute a lot. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, by the grace of God, after 21 years in the industry, you, you paying attention, you're committed, you learn a lot more. You learn a lot more beyond just the uh, prima facie acting uh, part of the craft. Uh, you, you become a part of the storytelling uh, of the craft. And then that makes it even more fulfilling when you see it and you see the kind of audience response that you were hoping for and that comes in or comes in even greater. It's an incredible feeling. No no doubts about this. You know, uh, you mentioned about the craft. You mentioned about, uh, you know, how the narrative develops. And, and, and if it is, you know, uh, with, with the inclusion of the actor who's playing that character, because as, a, as an actor, I'm sure you also feel a certain way when you're living that character day in and day out. You probably think that maybe the character could have done this also. And I'm sure that those inputs help the director, help the story writer to probably build that character in a certain way. But when it comes to cricket, you know that when a story like that is put in front where you see things uh, not going in the way that you know one wants to believe that Acha aise bhi hota hai kya cricket match mein kyunke that there were some really close to real life kind of resemblances to players, to, to teams for that matter that there were big hints dropped. And I'm sure that one would want to say that there was no resemblance to anything. But did you really feel that we are giving this to the direction of the direction? So look, it was, it was definitely inspired by a lot of rumors. It was definitely inspired by a lot of research. Uh, the fact that um, uh, uh, the sport and, and money and betting and bookies uh, have been entangled across the globe. Uh, not just with Indian cricket, but worldwide. Kahi na kahi, ye panje shikanje, kahi na kahi, sport mein ghus gaye hain in the past. And and many people have stayed clean. Many people have said, no, my my commitment, ye mera khuda hai, ye mera sport hai, this is my country, I will do anything for this. Uh, and stayed clean and not sold their souls. Uh, but many have. And, uh, and that's what the fascinating journey is and it's interesting because you know Inside Edge showed both sides it showed the guys who were willing to compromise and make the money and sell the the the, the, the team or the franchise uh, you know down the drain and it also showed the guys who, who cared so much about the sport that they said you know I will not allow somebody to sully it like this and um, and for me it was fun even though I, I love cricket so much and in the research process some information that I was given some you know in you know some people that I was made to meet who were researchers who were uh, investigative journalists who told me about stuff it was heartbreaking I felt like I don't want to hear all this these are my heroes ye sab True. Ke mein kuch mat bolo yaar. Uh, but it was sad but at the same time I used all of that to fuel the motivation for Vikram Dhawan ki yaar ye kyun itna manipulative hai ye kyun you know on on field ka game and off field in ke dimaag kyun control karta hai kyun maneuver karta hai kyun manipulate karta hai what drives him uh, and, and and it's that will to win at any cost right uh, to make sure that he holds the power he holds the victory and he wins at any cost it's not just pure 
money but it's about the the kind of high that you get from winning and controlling such powerful iconic people winning at any cost now th- that that is probably a thing that is again connected with such characters which have the negative slash gray shades jo apne kaha ke parde pe dikhte hain uh but also with athletes winning at any cost i want to go out and not just perform and outperform my competitors but also to some extent make some ruthless decisions chop and churn bring in someone new take someone out chahe usne acha perform kiya hai but aaj ke match ke liye nahi mujhe ye nahi chahiye kyunki mujhe jeetna hai ye sari cheeze modern day game mein modern day cricket mein kitna impact karti hai giri sir yes it is a very important uh, as we are seeing in the ipl as well and at the same time when you are representing your co- country you got to say ke bhai i will come what may for the sake of the country for the honor of the country i must perform so the, 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 this should be uh, this should be the thing which should um, you know get into the mind of um, all the cricketers who are in the frame right now fabulous say uh, yes it has to be you know that the mindset is extremely important and, and just like for a cricketer an actor's mindset also ups and downs are a part of both the careers you know a uh, we be beat a cricketer beat an actor when you win when you've scored runs you know or or you given hit movies people love you people will like you know wait to see you come out of your house your gym and and, and you know send messages instagram pe aapko stalk karenge but jahan do flop performances hue chahe movie mein chahe cricket ke maidan mein wahan par public jo hai wo galiyan dena shuru kar denge aur ab to platform bhi utne aa gaye ke twitter pe chalu ho jayenge instagram pe shuru ho jayenge how does one take the ups and downs the highs and lows of it ek incident main bata deta hu against pakistan which happened in home series okay. which we won the home series usme uh, my i performed i was instrumental uh, part of uh, winning for the country india jeeti or series ko kya baat hai bilkul and um, those that series um, uh, i happened to uh, take uh, three four uh, good catches who well, there, there, there was only sincere effort ball aake chipak gaya bas glove so on those bases bombay mein mohammad ali road pe jo pure wahan pe musalman hai mere bhai yahan ji to meri photo afiji lagaye aur usme joote chaplon ka haar lagaye okay और डोंकी के ऊपर बिठा के लेके गए एंड दिस वाज इन द न्यूज ओह माय गॉड ओह दैट्स सो सैड जस्ट बिकॉज़ आई आई परफॉर्म वेल अगेंस्ट देम दिस वाज एब्सोल्युटली अस्टोनिशिंग एंड सो डिस्ग्रेस अपने बॉम्बे की बात कर रहा हूं मैं पेपर में आ गया वो फोटो ओके Yes, I have that photograph uh, oh. paper ka it was very very sad you see now this is the emotions the people are having um, in our country mm-hmm. about this great game of cricket you know they don't want uh, um, you know india to lose or the pakistanis don't want to lose i suppose uh, uh, this is where the emotions play their role and bring a lot of uh, uh, जिन्होंने ये बहुत ही गलत काम किया anything that taught them discipline the forces uh, you know anything that is a constructive part of society uh, they would have been so proud and they would have you know proudly held the india flag up and said yaar ye hamara hero hai apna bhai jo aaj hame jeeta ke leke aaya and it's very sad and and i'm hoping that it changes and i believe that uh, you know uh, in india there's a strong wave of of being proud to be indian पाकिस्तान में भी है अफगानिस्तान में भी है सब जगह इतना प्यार मिलता है एंड वी रिस्पेक्ट दैट बट फर्स्ट फॉर मी मेरा देश क्या मेरा वतन पहले क्या बात है 
बिल्कुल क्या बात है एंड इट शुड बी कि भाई दी रिलीजन शुड बी ह्यूमैनिटी बिल्कुल लव फॉर ह्यूमैनिटी मैन मुस्लिम and you have all the other religions in the team Come and on. what a combination this was God, true, and true we are a proof to total humanity in general wah kya baat absolutely brilliant true wow. spirit now see th- this is what it is you know when we talking about uh, the spirit of the hum- human nature the the humanity the jo insaniyat ye jo loves hai wo itna bada hai itna gehra hai jiski ahmiyat shayad hum samajh nahi pate hain and sure. that's what life teaches us you no matter how fantastic you are at your job uh, being an actor being i don't know an air force pilot whatever you always need a team you need somebody to back you up and how to work collaboratively how to think for each other how to keep each other growing that's how society evolves that's how countries become better that's how the world becomes better i mean today i, I take great pride in being indian but i receive with that much joy and that much welcome uh, you know spirit anybody from any other country in the world ki bhaiya of course why not because that's the, that's eventual goal is humanity and that's what being indian teaches us because our ethos is humanity and to live together uh, you know all of us in a beautiful way i feel great pride when i see my son wear the india jersey because it represents something it represents not just my country but it represents our values our system for me my heroes who represent the country are are icons of those values also uh, so, so when they do something gracious on the cricket field i feel touched i'm sure i'm so sure and i mean it, it was beautiful to see your son actually wearing in the india jersey even today you know when he walked in i saw someone like a little child how, how old is he 7 8 he's 10 he's 10 10 year old wow. kid wearing the india jersey you know every time you see someone doing that you know that he's not just representing a team he is proud of a nation that he's carrying on his chest neel wo 4 saal ki umar se kar raha hai fabulous he loves his india jerseys <laughs> fabulous but he also loves his mumbai indians jersey ha wo 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 he was very <laughs> disappointed he is far out ho gaya ठीक उसमें उसमें मैं उसे फॉल्टी नहीं करार करूंगा क्योंकि मुंबई इंडियंस का फैन तो यानी कि भाई जो मुंबई से है अगर वो मुंबई का फैन नहीं है तो कुछ तो गड़बड़ है इतना कंफ्यूज था बिकॉज़ देखो दादा की टीम जो है उसकी वो हैदराबाद है ओके okay. दादी की टीम जो है वो चेन्नई सुपर किंग्स है उसकी माँ की जो टीम है वो आरसीबी है अरे वाह और उसके डैड की टीम जो है वो मुंबई इंडियंस है क्या बात है तो बेचारे ने सब देखा फिर मैंने उसको एक मेरे विनिंग आर्ग्यूमेंट राइट जब वो तीन चार साल का था उसको मुझे अपने तरफ खींचना था कि मेरे साथ में मेरा बेटा हो तो मैंने विनिंग आर्ग्यूमेंट उसको तब दिया मैंने बोला यार इतना ही चेक कर ले कि किस टीम ने सबसे ज्यादा बार आईपीएल जीती है फेयर पॉइंट फेयर पॉइंट अच्छा वेरी वैलिड आर्ग्यूमेंट unless yeah. chennai wins this time and matches mumbai indians because they're only one away the difference is only one but gujarat titans incredible i mean hardik pandya to evolve as such a fantastic captain kiri bhai i mean with this kind of high uh, win percentage uh, do you think how do you how do you analyze him when you see k dimag you've seen some great captains how do you analyze him as a as a as a captain player to kamal hai all rounder kamal hai but how do you analyze as a as a captain and do you think that this is truly captaincy potential for the future for our country also yes indeed he has those credentials he has those credentials and of course uh, you see now a, a successful captain is one when the team performs for him ji that is where a captain is uh, you know brought into the limelight with his uh, thinking game plan you he has to be a thinker good thinking and at the same time the players he has confidence in mm-hmm. should perform also at the same time and when they perform that mean that's the time we say hey that's good captaincy you see that's a good move right. you brought the right bowler at the right time 
जी यू सी दिस इज वेर यू सी इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन नाउ एज फार एज एज ए क्रिकेटर विवेक एंड नील के भाई नाउ एवरी द इलेवन प्लेयर्स ऑन द फील्ड शुड थिंक दैट दे आर कैप्टन इज वेल and not leave that responsibility on the captain ji so when they when the team thinks about this each one of them comes and tells the captain yeah this is the time you should bring so and so this is the time you should bring uh, uh, this change so on those basis they discuss this is where is the strategic time out where you discuss ye badhiya tha kar liya aapne you see everybody discuss everybody puts a point out hamare zamane mein koi ye na strategic time tha na koi tha hamare sath koi ni no video analysis nothing we way kuch bhi nahi we just had a manager who would do the logistics arranging buses arranging flight uh, bookings in the hotels etc and etc we look we we our team meetings our discussion with each and everybody will talk in that team meeting ki bhai what do you think how should we react to this team of west indies how do we beat them who is the best player where we can concentrate on to take him out first this is the way looking into their past performances looking into their past um, game plans this is how we evaluate in the our team meetings ji and go out into the uh, open and the best thing which um, i i have appreciated in captain kapil dev in the very first meeting of our tournament we were pitched with the world reigning world champions ji yeah. they had won the 1975 inaugural world cup 79 79 mein jeet gaye the and they were gunning for a hat trick and we were the fourth weakest team in the competition <laughs> we were pitched with them so kapil dev our first meeting he said we were seven seniors to him by the way vivek in the team seven <laughs> seniors to him when he was made the captain right so on those basis uh, he said uh, gentlemen i have seven seniors with me i don't have to tell them what their responsibilities are great statements by kapil in that meeting wow. i really appreciated that so i would like the seniors to guide me i, I have never heard such a captain uh, a captain say this kya baat You see, this right. shows that the, the humility he has into him, respecting the seniors. You know your responsibilities, gentlemen. I don't have to tell you what you have to do. So this is where we shirked away all our egos, with which were, which are embedded by nature in every creation. Ji, कुछ कह गया हमें. क्या बात है? क्या बात? क्या बात? In every creation, there is this E G O. Embedded by nature. बिल्कुल एनिमल्स में आप देख लीजिए बर्ड्स में देख लीजिए और ह्यूमन पे सो वी शर्कड वे ऑल ओवर ईगोस वी आर प्लेइंग फॉर द ऑनर ऑफ द कंट्री सो लेट्स टू इट लेट्स नॉट लुक बैक दो वी आर द वीकेस्ट टीम एंड वेरी फर्स्ट मैच वी वन कॉम्प्रहेंसिवली unbelievable that was the turning point of the entire world cup according to belief आ गया ना belief आ गया believe ah gaya each one of us in the dressing room were so happy after beating west indians on old trafford to ek washroom se pukara hey we have beaten the world champions man bol ke pukara to sare ke sare jo change ho rahe the we were all changing putting our um, things equipment in the kit bag everybody went into a chorus like you know hey we have beaten the world champions unbelievable ab bas wahan se hum piche dekhe hi nahi mode hi nahi piche incredible incredible scenes abhi uh, captain uh, kapil dev was man of action man of very few words he didn't have to tell the seniors what they should do each one of us pepping one another each one of us encouraging one another kiri bhai how would you how would you rate dhoni as a wicket keeper since you are one of the greatest wicket keepers of all time and uh, uh i think your record was held for two decades i remember that till dhoni broke your record that we don't think anybody else uh, had the yes. ability uh, and 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 the, the success so how would you rate him you see now it is very important uh, that you see no technique is required now acha absolutely important is you produce now the coaches of today ji they are not uh, now of course wicket keeping um, has taken a back back seat now because of the invent of the one day internationals and the uh, t20s they are preferring um, a batsman who can uh, 
stand behind and keep wickets. Mm. All right. So on those bases, Dhoni has done stunning stompings, taken mm. great catches behind, and he has been a role model behind. Right, and all those youngsters. Whether you see, this is what he—he he was the man who was producing results, and he has taken the Indian team to the highest ebb. Uh, Winning all the three four match. Bilkul, bilkul, bilkul. So I the, uh, chased, the best captain India has ever seen. I chased the India team, Kiri Bhai. I just got married in 2010, and uh, wife did not watch cricket, did not really enjoy <laughs> or understand cricket. Us samajh nahi aata tha ki kya ho raha. And I said we are going to watch every single one of the World Cup matches. You and I are flying physically to each stadium to support Team India, and we're going to win. And she said, uh, "But why? Why would we do that? I don't even. I mean, I, I, one match, two matches. I can understand. You're telling me we have to watch every match." I said, "Yes." <laughs> and she said, "Is the logic here?" So I said, "Look, John, if you can survive this, then nothing can impact our marriage." What a story! Wow, wow, wow! And end up the fu- the funniest thing is. at the end of it all she ended up loving the game and enjoying it she became a part of it she said yaar ye to bahut mazedar cheez hai and now we watch matches together this is amazing isn't it now see Absolutely the, 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 these are fun stories right the, these are fun life incidents that have happened in our personal lives and because of which obviously we love the sport of a game so much and yeah and i'm i'm so thankful that you spent so much time with us we loved this time one last question that i want to know not two one is obviously Which team? Gujarat Titans, Chennai Super Kings. अगर पूरा मैच हुआ तो और अगर फाइव ओवर का थ्रो डाउन हुआ तो वो है ना वो फेसबुक वाला स्टेटस जो होता था इट्स कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इश्क तो धोनी के साथ है बिकॉज आई फील की इनकेस दिस इज इज लास्ट सीजन आई होप इट्स नॉट आई होप ही प्लेस फॉर टेन मोर इयर्स आई नो आई मीन ख्याल तो यू नो कुछ भी कर सकते हैं सो इफ इट इज आई वॉन्ट हिम टू गो because he's had such an epic career mm-hmm. if he's retiring out of this i want him to go with the trophy uh even though that means he equals or chennai super kings equals my team mumbai which is mumbai indians as 5 is to 5 i still want that for dhoni because i love dhoni uh though i am so impressed with gujarat titans as an outfit i have seen them play so incredibly and whenever they've fallen they've course corrected so well so logic कहता है कि शायद गुजरात टाइटंस जीतेंगे दिल कहता है नहीं धोनी जीतेगा सीएस की जीतेगी क्या राइटली मैं भी यही कह रहा हूँ दिलो दिमाग की फाइट है यहाँ बिल्कुल 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 और हमारा दिल तो बस यही चाहता है कि मैच हो बट वी विश यू ऑल द लक विवेक वेर डू वी सी यू नेक्स्ट वॉट इज कमिंग अप from uh, you know from from uh, the acting stables of विवेक ओवर आई जस्ट बिन सो एक्साइटेड शूटिंग फॉर रोहित शेट्टी I'm shooting for a huge, huge uh, action series called Indian Police Force with uh, the wonderful Siddharth Malhotra and uh, Shilpa Shetty. A lot of wonderful actors in there, but it's a great, exciting uh, uh, a series called Indian Police Force, uh, which is now going to be ready soon. And uh, like everything Rohit Shetty does, it's larger than life and dhamakedar, so it's going to come out there and create a, a fun buzz. Uh, I can't tell you what film I'm shooting next because I haven't announced it yet. Okay. But I'm uh, training for a film right now and uh, need to get into some really good shape for we, that. So we can see that that work in progress <laughs> is definitely visible. So, mehna chal rahi hai kyunki I go I go overseas to shoot that in mm-hmm. August. Uh, so that's starting and then um, I've signed uh, a very interesting series and uh three more films uh that we will all go on floor from this year onwards so it's pretty exciting times amazing you know we we're looking forward to all of those and a lot more we wake and thank you so thank much you for joining much. in just loved that the, the time that we spent here and uh, now that you'll be based in dubai and we'll probably get to see you more often i hope so we definitely would love to aata jata to rahunga ye ye zaruri hai ye zaruri hai aana zaruri hai yes indeed it was my pleasure also we wake uh, meeting bhai. you and a uh, great pleasure and do convey my warm regards to uh, walid saab of course of course main unko bahut pyar and i wish that young vivan the very best of luck to you young man to bring name to yourself to your family to your dad and to the country 
क्या बात यस यू विल डू इट व्हाट अ ब्यूटीफुल ब्लेसिंग थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच गॉड ब्लेस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर इंस्पायरिंग हिम एंड गिविंग हिम दोस पर्सनली साइंड ग्लव्स ही इज सो एक्साइटेड अबाउट इट ही इज गोइंग टू बी सो हैप्पी इट्स गोइंग टू गो राइट नेक्स्ट टू द पर्सनली साइंड बॉल दैट कपिल पाजी इज गिवन हिम तो नाउ ही इज ही इज बिल्डिंग हिज 83 कलेक्शन अमेजिंग इज इट जस्ट द राइट टाइम टू स्टार्ट इट्स नेवर